Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I, I'm Danny for Cup and Cakes Gourmet, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to paint a doll face in fondant, biscuit, coke porcelain, anyway. And the video is dedicated to Anne Lewis. I hope I'm saying your name correctly then you left me a message so cute so today's video is for you and we're gonna start already painting it because that's how i'm showing you here if you guys want to see how i got this face how um i sculpted that you just please leave me a message down below and i can do that for you i have this face probably here for i don't know like five months <laughs> i was doing um area i was trying to make area but um, I didn't know if I wanted a big one or a little one for the cake. So we kind of went to another route. So this has sitting here forever. And I decided to show you guys how I paint. Um, how If you want to put a lot of details, take your time on the painting. You know, you can go crazy and make so much layers. So many layers and details and colors and things like that. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do. I start like just tracing with a pen. So just for me to know where everything is and then I erase almost everything of those lines like you're seeing so I can see the lines but it's not gonna be there once I'm done and I'm gonna start with the white every single paint I'm showing here in this video is acrylic paint and um I prefer I think I'm using the Americana brand uh, I mix sometimes you know um I have other ones but it's always a bit uh, water base and acrylic so for you to cover any clay you're painting with white you're gonna need, need to do that like at least three or four layers but I don't want it to be waiting so normally what I do I put a layer and then go do something else and in the face and then I go back to my white again so as you can see that's what I'm doing I'm just covering the whole part of the eyes and white not worrying too much I, you're gonna see me in the video even when i'm doing something else going back to that white to make really you know a flat white not see-through white and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoy painting i kind of miss actually i used to do that in wood so um if you guys want to see more videos like that just leave me a message below and you're gonna see that i'm using now a brush that you use normally you use dry so when you see this brush with those bristles as that mean then it's a dry brush so i put the paint and a dry on my hand or a dry on the paper until almost you don't have the color of the paint that you're using and then you're just gonna like blush it up like makeup so with the white i'm gonna start doing everywhere where the highlight would be like you getting your makeup done so on the top of your nose the middle of your forehead you know the cheekbones and the, the everywhere like then the light will shine first you know the top hearts if, if it makes sense as you can see under the eyes where the, the cheekbone is in the middle of the forehead a little bit and you know everywhere just to give the model more like a feel the 3d um effect you can use even use highlight and shadows to make this face look like 3d but it's basically straight if you guys want to see that and I can do that for you, make another face like this, but instead being model and you can see the form be like just a flat piece and then you can do, you know, those details because it's cool to see the difference too. Actually, I think I'm going to do that for you guys or for me too. <laughs> we always learn something else. So as you can see, I go back to the white, put a little bit more white and here is basically some of the colors I'm using. I'm getting a little beige like skin color type the same thing with a dry brush and I'm just gonna go over a little bit at the edges where the white then I just place it on so it's not gonna be like a harsh line between the white and the skin exactly why you would getting it like eye makeup done you know you need to go that brush back and forth back and forth to buff it out and don't see anything and now um i'm gonna start worrying a little bit more where i'm going to putting in that if you made any mistake mistake like me then i didn't wait for my white to dry and you, you saw then i made it a little mess just get a little water and clean up don't worry don't panic that's why i didn't edit out of the video because i want you guys to see then everybody makes mistakes everybody goes over the line 
fine. You know, you don't need to panic. Just fix it. And now the same thing with the little um, pink, like kind of like salmon kind of color. I'm just going to go over the corner of the eyes. Just just basically putting the color a little bit more and go all around. I'm not making any line or anything. I'm just placing a little buff of the pink on the corner of the eye. If you haven't yet, please um, go to my Instagram. It's here. Hashtag Cupping Cakes Gourmet because this picture was there already. Um, you know, there's another picture. Sometimes I show two things to see what you guys want to see. And you got, really would love to see you guys tag me and show me what you're doing. And now with the same pink that I place in the corner of the eyes, I'm just going to cover the whole lips uh, for her mouth. Um, you can make um, her showing her teeth. If you want to just put like a white in the middle, it, you can make a little tiny, you know, like duck face um, sending kisses as well. Or you can do like i'm gonna do here a basic all around lip so i'm gonna start with the pink very light just to be the base of her lips and always wait to dry before you do the second layer you know like i didn't do so i almost messed it up <laughs> yeah but it's always better if you can but you know we procrastinate so sometimes we need to finish things before we have the time to let everything dry you can also use a hair dryer if you want to paint when you're using um paint acrylic paints you or you're painting any clay or fondant or decoration for your cake or um wood you can dry your acrylic paint with a hair dryer um so as you can see i'm going over that white again because i want that white to be perfect white I'm going in with the white in the middle of the lower lip and a little tiny bit in the top lip. Right in the middle, I'm going to just go around and soft it out just to give another layer for, lip, for her lips. It's funny how different it looks if you take your time to make um, shadows and highlights and things like that. Because even though it's a 3G doll, um, it just makes so much prettier than just paint the eyes and leave the face flat. So even if you are not really used to it or you want to train, just draw something um, and a flat piece of clay and then try because as better as you can get and more comfortable you are to paint and do highlights and shadows, um, contouring, cont is it like that? <laughs> if you're doing your makeup. It looks better. So I'm just going with my brown, uh, making an outline for uh, the eyelashes. Don't worry, we're going to have black on top of it. But it's better for you to start going darker instead of trying to put a black there and then don't like it, if it makes any sense. So I always prefer to put the brown first, whatever I want to do. Even though, because when you buff it around, it looks prettier because it gives a little shadow. But at least the, if... If I mess that up or I think the one eye is smaller than the other one and I want to fix it, it's not going to be black paint because black paint is a pain to get it out of there. So that's what I'm just doing. I'm separating the eyelids and um, the rest of her eyes with a little buff and a little shadow and water. I'm sorry I'm speeding up a little bit this video. I'm not cutting uh, anything important out, but it's super long already and it was long. When I start editing and I don't want you guys to see here and listen to me talking two hours straight. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to just go over really fast. My white is dry and I'm going to start um, placing where I want her to look. So, she will be kind of looking on the side. And then you need to decide, look some pictures, look something and you look, you know, for a reference. And then you know where you need to put it. Because if she's looking to the side... The other side is going to be a little closer. You know what I mean? It's not too in the middle of the eye. So that's what we're going to do. I always do with a little um, pencil so I can fix it if I like it, if I don't like it, if it needs to be bigger. And I go over the white again so I can see my tracing. But even if I miss a little piece or if it's there, we are not going to see it. And again, another layer of white. Now that it's dry, I'm going to start with the blue. I'm using more kind of lighter blue 
um, than you see on the end because you always want to start with the lighter color so you can do the sharing, the, the shadow and the highlight, you know, all the effects on top of it. So I always like to start with the base color, the light blue, because then I can play around with the darker blue. I can play around with the white so I can make that get more dimension if it makes any sense. But that's all you can see. Now I'm using a little darker blue, as you can see, just to mix around. My blue, the first one that I put at the layer, is too wet. And that is okay, because you want to mix them. You don't want to wait too long for that blue to dry, and then you try to go to another layer on top of it. I do want them to mix. I do want them to don't be super perfect flat, like I was doing the white, as you can see. In the little... Um, help of cotton you can use this you can use cotton ball anything you can just go over and tap because it's too wet and take all the excess around in the middle off don't worry we're gonna do that again but that gives you a really cool effect but you cannot let it dry first just like that and we're gonna um, start doing another layer of that brown on top. As you can see, it's getting darker and darker. And now I go with the black probably on top of it. It looks like black, but it's kind of really dark brown, actually. Um, I will go with the black on top of it there again. If you starting and you think is you know, liner is a very big height, you know, like how I'm gonna do that line, just use a pencil, uh, like a sharp one, a sharp, um, what I can say today? Uh, you just use a pen and you can use anything, a Sharpie, whatever, that's what I wanna say. And now with the liner again, I'm going with the uh, dark blue and I'm just gonna go over to make some lines and getting the excess off. I'm just trying to give more of a 3D effect, dimensional kind of thing on the bl the blue of the eyes. And then I'm gonna go all over the top side, just only because there is where it's gonna be darker and the bottom is where she's looking to the side. So that side's gonna be lighter. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't worry too much in the middle because we're gonna put the black there But I'm starting with a little tiny bit of yellow at the, the side and I want it to be lighter Just to give another detail and another layer You can play around take your time, you know, it's too wet the blue is too wet the white it's too wet the you know, if it's getting, if it's drying and you think you're not going to be able to use, just put your brush in the water a little bit, take the excess on the paper off and just go over so you're able to mix everything. And now I'm going to the bottom side of the white. And you just mix everything and you keep doing that until you're happy with the color the base of your eyes i'll probably go of course with a little bit more blue but now i wanted to dry a little bit before i go back there and just with a little tiny line with brown i'm just marking probably you know where your eyelids are you know that little line then it's not your eyebrows but it's the eye line you know that line from your lids so that's what we're gonna mark right now. So it's more like a, it's not even painted. It's kind of there, but it's not super dark. And now I'm gonna make the line with the darker blue around her eyes. Don't worry if you get out of the lines, you just go over at the white and fix everything. see that the eye color is already getting some shape some dimension I'm trying to see if it's dry enough for me to keep going and with the blue I'm trying to show you guys that I use there I go with the brush on my hand to get the access to be sure that I didn't put a bunch of paint on the brush and then I'm gonna place on my piece and it's gonna make a mess so um, if you're using liner always clean up a little bit you know like put a little water go over and then you see and you know then it's perfect 
and that's why we're gonna do little lines from the outside of the corner or the blue line to the inside where the black's gonna be and don't worry about be straight or all perfect the same size the same shape don't matter because that's just the first detail and now i'm cleaning up the edge of my blue just to be sure that it looks like a circle and then i can clean all the rest of the white and we're gonna clean the other side as well i even went over the brown a little bit more than what I wanted so you can see that I fix it sometimes I keep my mistakes um, or things like that and I could edit out of the video but I think it's important for you guys to see too then um, if you made a mistake you can clean up and then to encourage you to try you know everybody then is doing that for a while um, you gonna see oh I can never do that yes you can um, you just keep trying, keep trying, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do it if you have patience and you try. And now I'm going to use a little white in the middle of the lips just to give a little bit more of the depth. And like you're going to see, of course, more of the lower lip reflecting the light than the top lip. And now I'm going top of the, the brown line again with the black. I do one side and now we're going to do the other. Just like that if you're scared just let the black dry before you do anything and then the back of the paintbrush as you can see I'm just making the black line the ball and the metal of the eyes and I'm gonna go like white enough to touch those lines and as I was making in blue just like this and now you need to wait a little bit to dry so I'm gonna go with a little brown a dry brush again just to give some shadows on you know her nose and mouth and forehead like if you're doing your contouring like a makeup so everywhere then the light under the nose on the sides of the cheeks you know things like that just to give the other effect you cannot use just the dry brush with the white and then highlight everything if you don't do the darker sides because then it's gonna look weird so if you're gonna take a time to do highlighting and contouring for your piece whatever you're making you need to make both of them not just one. Oh, i'm gonna put just some white here and then that's it you actually i take it back of course you can but you look better and it's gonna look prettier if you do both like you can you can see i'm going up with the line just buffering a little line darker right there it's still the dry brush just to mark the bone on her nose and now i'm gonna use a very tiny liner and i'm the black is too wet i'm just gonna pull a little tiny bit of the black to the sides like three or four lines and each of the eyes just to still give a little detail i'm using the black that is there i'm not putting anything you know more and now again i'm going back and put it that yellow then i place on the sides just to give a little bit more you know life and now with the blush like normal makeup blush i'm using my hand and i'm gonna make her cheeks a little bit pinkier just like that here we go let it dry a little bit more and then we're gonna work a little bit more on the lips um just go with the liner and make lines in white and then we're gonna do that with the dark pink and keep going but that's why we're gonna do right now and you see that my hand keeps going you know dirtier and dirtier but that's okay and now I'm doing a little bit of the lines with a darker pink don't forget to leave me a comment so I can dedicate my, ne my next video for you guys teach me uh, like tell me what you want to learn I want to do a bunch of things for Easter um, we're gonna have a little Easter party and I know that I need to send presents for the kids and teachers and things like that if you guys want to see something cheap and easy then we can make to give everybody because sometimes buying for everybody is not you know easy so and I'm just using my darker pink with a little bit of water and going all over what we did just to cover the whole lips And you can see that I clean my brush on the paper just to even get more of that dark pink out. I just wanted to, you know, I make 
a little detail. And now with the brown, you can see that I'm pre-mating a line to see where I want her eyebrows to be. And now I'm gonna go very gentle and very tiny strokes just to make the hair of the eyebrows. I clean on my hand to don't have extra water or extra paint because you want it to be very little tiny lines as little and as thin I can do to look like hair. Here we go. And now with the dry and dry is clean, but it's have a little bit of water. I'm just gonna go under and clean up to be straight like she's getting her eyebrows done. You can make as thick as you want, but since I'm making her with the blue eyes and I want to do some, um, oh, I, can't for I forgot the little dots on her face. What's the name of that? Freckles, freckles. <laughs> I'm going to make her um, eyebrows brown. And now I'm just going to clean and I'm going to go with a little tiny bit of white and the same brush under the eyebrows just to give some a little bit more effect like you do in your makeup. And you can see then just looking at the piece, it looks so much more 3G than it really is. So I'm kind of excited that the idea and make with a flat piece so we can see how that works. And I'm just putting a little darker plank in the middle where, you know, the lips are touching each other just to be um, a little more detail. And now with the liner and the white, I'm going to make the light reflection. So it's a line and then we're gonna make um, a white dot right there and a little tiny one and remember then those light reflections need to be on the same size uh, the same side in both sides <laughs> because the light will reflect just in one you know just like that we're gonna let it dry a little bit And now with the tiniest and skinniest liner you have, we're gonna start making little traces for her eyelashes or the bottom eyelashes. Take your time, clean your brush, try you know on your hand if you need it first just to be sure then your um, liner your brush is making really skinny lines before you put it in your pet plate in your you know piece and we're gonna do that on the one side and then to the other side so if you're starting is the first time you're doing it just let it dry before doing this liner that i'm doing but this liner i'm doing in brown just to connect everything to the side of the eyes to the other side where the line for the eyelashes would be and now we're going to do the same thing the other side you also if you want to on the top you can put it like fake eyelashes you know you can use for um for any sculpting you're doing it um you just glue you know fake eyelashes on the top too but this time i just painted to show you guys a little bit more and i'm gonna do the line to the other side as well to connect everything and give some finishing and now with the black i'm gonna start very gentle on the sides and we're gonna start doing um making her top eyelashes always remember the sides your eyelashes are going so always look have a picture or like a photograph anything for reference so you know um you know just to keep everything kind of realistic i really like this brush i got this brush in one of the halls um here in the channel you can find it and the liner is very very cool and very tiny so to make the uh, eyelashes it looks really cute 
the same thing to the other side. If you're doing this for the first time, just let it dry before you try to the other side. Then you can put it upside down or whatever um, way is easier for you. Just be careful to don't touch the other side because, you know, it's going to make a mess. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, it be part of our family. We're growing. Um, so much more to come. And I'm so happy for everybody that is really subscribing already. And leave the message and likes and everything. It makes me, even though, you know, sometimes the days and the times go by. And we are like everything in the rush and kids and family and work and all this. Makes me sit down here and make the video for you guys. Because makes me happy when you guys watch and participate and leave a message so please subscribe and share it with your friends you know because that helps me and helping me being happier i can even bring more stuff for you guys and now i'm going again with the dry brush and the white just to give some light on her face again since we go so much you know with hands and colors and now i'm using my liner um to make her freckles you can use any tool or tool pick anything to do this but since my liner is are here that's what I'm using and you put as many freckles as you want or no at all that's just you know um, just a little detail and she is almost almost done um, you can give more effect to her eyes go back with the darker blue you know many things you can do but i think then if you take this little time to finish your doll or your sculpture anything that you're making with that much details instead just putting blue and a dot in the middle um it gives so much more life and it looks so pretty and like anybody then is gonna look if this piece knows then you know we took a time to do that and as you can see make a mess just use water and clean up and i'm using a clear base on nail polish just to go all around her eyes and just to give a little shine but i will probably if i'm using this um to a piece i would definitely put it like that clear um cream that I use all the time and I will show you if you guys want to see in the next video just remind me and I will put a picture for you guys here but um maybe you guys want to see me finishing this you know this head <laughs> this face you want to see it we can do I think Anna we can do Ariel we can do a bunch with freckles and blue eyes right who else has blue eyes and freckles? Uh, Merida has blue eyes and freckles. All the princesses, then we can use this face and finish and do something if you guys want to see. And now I'm going with the lines and the white again, just to give a little bit more life on her lips. Always leaving the lower lip a little bit lighter than the top lip because the light will be reflecting more. And of course the sides and inside will be darker so I'm just putting a line just to be sure then you can see that difference so she's pretty much kind of done I hope you guys like this video and like this um, painting tutorial if you want to see more of this if you want to see the flat face if you want to see anything else just leave me a comment below I would love to see your comment even if you're saying just cool I like it and subscribe and give me a like for this video and I will talk to you guys soon don't forget to leave your comments so I can dedicate the next video to you thanks so much for watching guys I hope you like it and I talk to you guys pretty soon bye